Welcome to Electron Line. Another very interesting characteristic of the Sun's apparent motion on Mercury is that near high noon, in certain circumstances, the Sun will actually travel in the opposite direction. Well, that happens when the high noon position of the Sun, which would be basically 44 days since the sunrise, so 44 Earth days since the Sun began to rise, if that, position, if that position, the noon position of the Sun, coincides with perihelion, the position where Mercury is closest to the Sun, the Sun will actually appear to move in retrograde motion. Just like on the Earth, the Sun will rise in the east in the morning and set in the west in the evening. Of course, that period on Mercury will take 88 Earth days, a very long period of time. But if the noon position coincides with the perihelion point on the Mercury orbit, then for example, let me show you what that looks like. So if I have the Sun right here, and we have the orbit of Mercury, it's a very elliptical orbit. So this would be the aphelion position, this would be the perihelion position. If the perihelion position of the Sun coincides with the noon, meaning if the observer is standing on this portion, oh, I don't think the observer wants to stand on the sun. That would be a bad place to be. Let me put the observer over here. Even though it's not a good place to be, it's still uh, better than being on the surface of the sun. So let's say that the sun is in the noon position, like right here when you're observing the sun, the sun will actually begin to move in the opposite direction. So the sun will move from east to west, stop, start going back in the opposite direction, stop, and then start going back in this direction until it sets in the west. Why is that? Well, the interesting part of that is that the planet Mercury moves much slower when it's at half helium, farther away from the sun, and moves much faster when it's at perihelion. Matter of fact, the, the planet Mercury moves so fast in this position that its angular velocity due to its orbital motion is actually faster than its angular velocity because of its rotational motion. So here we've calculated the three angular velocities. One at perihelion, when it's closer to the Sun, one at aphelion, when it's farther from the Sun, and the angular rotational speed, of, we should say the angular rotational speed of uh, the rotation of the motion of, let me say that again, and here we calculated the angular rotation speed due to the rotation of the planet. And let's take a look at the results. So you can see that the planet rotates at an angular velocity of 12.4 times 10 to the minus 7 radians per second. Of course, it's going to be very, very slow because the rotation of Mercury is very slow. And the angular velocities at perihelion and at aphelion is 12.82 times 10 to the minus 7 radians and 5.57 times 10 to the minus 7 radians. Because of its slower velocity, when it's at aphelion, it has a much slower angular velocity. But because of its faster velocity at perihelion, it has a much higher angular velocity. And matter of fact, the angular velocity here is greater than the angular velocity due to its rotational motion. Which means that this becomes the predominant effect on where the sun's position will be, and if this is larger than this, the sun will begin to appear to move in the opposite direction. And that's why during the period of time when you're in this position right here, is if the speed is so high at, at uh, perihelion that the orbital angular velocity is greater than the rotational angular velocity, the sun will appear to move backwards. And so that's very unique, the only place in the solar system where you actually have something like that happen. You will not have that on any other planet. Of course, on Venus, we'll get to that when we talk about Venus, since the rotation of the planet is in the opposite direction, retrograde rotation, we're of course going to see something different in the apparent motion of the Sun. But here, where we see the Sun move in one direction, stop, in the other direction, stop, move back in the same direction as before, that's something we don't see in any other place in the solar system. And that's again due to its unique motion, the very large ellipticity of the orbit, the very fast motion at perihelion, and the much slower motion at aphelion. And that's what it's like on Mercury.